The first of Garissa's returning students determined to pick up where they left off. It has changed totally. It has changed because uh, Garissa was, was, was fast growing town. Because uh, this student, uh, in terms of economic, social economic, because they used to, uh, even the local, the local mamas or, uh, or breadwinners, uh, used to get a lot, of, uh, uh, a lot of income. Security here has never been so tight. Armed guards at the gate and more than two dozen police patrolling the grounds. If only they'd been here on April 2nd, 2015. That day, the campus was the scene of Al Shabaab's bloodiest attack so far on Kenyan soil. Almost 150 people died, most of them students. This hostel was mainly occupied by second year students, both male and female. Unfortunately, this is where most of the killings took place. Now, university officials have changed the name from Mount Elgin to Ewaso Niro in an effort to erase the horrors that took place inside this building. It will take more than a name change to revive the campus. Few involved will easily forget the trauma. The survivors actually were telling us uh, they were moved, actually. They were asked to move to the female wing, which is this one, from their side, from the pre -verb. And uh, uh, they were asked, now, especially the ladies were lured. They say that uh, they are not going to kill the ladies. Uh, so they lured them and they collected them together in one place. And that is the time when they started killing them one by one. The decision to reopen Garissa this week has been hailed another symbol of Kenya's defiance of terrorism. But actually getting students to come here is proving difficult. We are prepared to receive our students, those whose studies were interrupted, and the prospective students even from tomorrow, who will be coming to check on what we can offer, okay? Whom we shall see, how many are they, whether they form a quorum for a class, which programs, and then uh, as we wait for uh, the government-sponsored uh, students, which is placed by the, the central service in September. Most of those who returned on Wednesday are from Garissa. The vast majority, 600 or so students, have joined other universities and will never come back. Catherine Ogunde, CCTV, Garissa, Kenya.